I love boxing. You know, once I found boxing, you know, especially from the environment that I grew up, the, for us, we feel that there's only a few ways out. Usually a sport, you know, or being a drug dealer or a criminal. 100% of, of all my friends I grew up with, grew up with their mum, single mothers. And I was the only one in the block that grew up with my dad. And I, as a young child, I was waking up in the middle of the night and seeing my dad, and, you know, over a desk, black coffee, studying. Never, see, always see my dad studying and working. And who would have thought years later, I'd become my dad, <laughs> you know, and I, that's it. You know, I study all through the night. That's why I look at my dad as my hero, as my king. <laughs> Check him! <laughs> Everyone knows me, I would say, for Anthony. The fact that we, we, you know, we came, me and Anthony came from nothing. We went all the way to the, the elite level of the sport. And uh, what that young man has been through, I had to be what I'd always been for him, for a mentor, a, you know, a father figure. Tunde is the most driven trainer I've ever met. We're literally like an uncle and a nephew. The, the goals he sets himself and his dedication and consistency and discipline is the best I've ever seen or heard of. So that motivates me. And um, it always, bo always boils down to this, he's got a heart of gold. The world famous 805 restaurant. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you, welcome. <laughs> I've got three brothers. They've all got kind of like English traditional names. And um, he gave me Baba Tunde Ajay. <laughs> Baba Tunde Olawashi Ajay. So I think my dad wanted to make a statement that this is my son, he's, you know, and I don't want him to forget the roots, the culture. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of my name. I won't say who it was, but you got to remember, I'm a, a black guy from the roads, the streets of South London, and a, a black trainer said to me, let me tell you something about this game of boxing. We train them, and then other people take them. That's how it is for black trainers. And you imagine telling someone that, who's got all this high ambition, but again, I thank God for my dad. Because my dad put that thing in me, like, don't put no obstacles in your, in your way. From what me and Anthony have done in boxing, we've done it as black men. And, and that's the message, really. The message for me is, is never going to be, don't put, that, you know, don't put a barrier up because you're black, you can't do this, because you're black. It's always hard for us, because that's what our parents tell us. Put your heart, mind, body and soul into, sit, on, into things. Nothing can stop you. Yeah. Yes, sir. You don't accept.